Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Fujit Splits with me, Fujit. Hello. So, it's like this. I have to admit, I absolutely love Wargaming's new quick tournament format. Now, I don't know if they're temporary or if they're here for the long run. And I'm hoping it's the latter because you know what? They have so much to offer for everybody. Noobs, those who don't play tournaments that much, and even the pros, oddly enough. Presently, we have four formats. Two versus two, three versus three, four versus four, and seven versus seven. Okay, seven versus seven is still retaining the traditional format, but it's the others that I find truly, truly interesting. For quite a long time now, I personally had hoped, and probably quite a few others, that Wargaming would venture into the realms of other formats, such as 2 versus 2 and such. And whilst it's taking them a bit of time, I've got to give them credit for finally bringing in these alternative formats, because I think they're great. But why do I like them? Well, it's pretty simple, really. Not only are they great fun, and they really are great fun, but they also actually help improve your overall gameplay and thus increase your skill level. The reduced maps, similar to those that you find in Skirmish, another format I absolutely love, really let you get used to the different parts of the map and allows you to understand how to use the terrain more effectively. The fact that the teams are also reduced means you really must work together two things that in my book are missing from random gameplay, map knowledge and teamwork. But there's also the third part, which is trying to predict your enemy's movements. Because when you're in a, such a reduced format and you, you have to look at the team's lineup and you have to try and anticipate where they're going to go. Another thing that people very rarely do in random gameplay. And it's actually crucial and critical to learn and try and understand what your team's makeup is going to make them do. Okay, I get that not everyone is going to do tournaments of any sort, but why? I mean, it doesn't matter if you win or lose in a QT. Well, no, not really. I mean, your overall stats are not affected, and who knows? You may actually learn something and earn some credits along the way. You know, everybody wants credits. Plus, like all the QTs, you get two bites at that cherry. And you can always roll out again if you lose those two lives. What's the problem? I played in a 3v3 yesterday, which was put together at the last minute and it wasn't really planned. Due to the fact that it's autumn season PYS on. But with the update being moved and previous skill number two being rescheduled, it gave us the opportunity to roll out. Was it fun? You bet your bottom dollar it was. Did we win all the battles? No, we didn't. And that wasn't something that phased us at all. I even rolled out nose tanks that have got new camos and had a great time doing so. Okay, so many of you think the tall scene, QT and PYS, it's just an overall yo fest, and to an extent you would be totally correct. What with the yo being the badass that it is, but it doesn't mean that you have to roll out in a yo or a team of them to still have a bit of fun. Either way, whether you wish to try hard, venture into the top tours for the first time, try out your new TRX Tonk, earn a little bit of credit, spam a yo, or just have a little bit of fun with your mates. I think these QTs offer all those things and a lot more. And I, for one, am a huge fan of them. So what are you waiting for? These QTs are not restricted to a particular style like Touch or PC, nor are they restricted to just Clam. So if you've got some mates and they're on a PC and you're on a Touch, who matter? it doesn't matter. Grab your mates and make a night of it. You may improve your overall gameplay. You may earn some credits, but I assure you, you will have some fun. And here's the other thing. You may even do so without being shouted at or abused. Either way, I think these formats are fantastic and they should be embraced. Well, 
I do Fuji. That's been my little video on the new QT formats, which I'm loving. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, guys, remember, it is just a game. It's not always about stats. So stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because seriously, at the end of the day, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.